Hello, grade six, and welcome to this week's weekly breakdown. So in this week, we are going to be continuing the lesson minerals. We have previously discussed what is a mineral. We said that it's a solid matter that can be found deep down beneath Earth's surface. We talked about the five characteristics of minerals, that they are naturally occurring, solids, form in inorganic processes, crystal structure, and definite chemical composition. As for the properties that help us distinguish between different minerals, such as the streak, which is the powder color, luster, color, density, hardness, and the crystal structure. For this week, we are going to talk more about how minerals are formed. So the forming of minerals happen in three different ways. Starting off with organic minerals. Organic minerals, from its name, it is naturally occurring. It can be made in animals such as cows and humans. We produce it in skeletons made out of calcium phosphate, which is a min mineral, type of mineral. Moving on to the second way, we can have minerals formed from solution. So sometimes when the solutions or minerals, they dissolve in water, they form a solution. After it can evaporate or a type of a process that can happen to that solution, it can leave behind minerals. This process is called crystallization. What does crystallization mean? It is a process by which atoms are arranged to form a material that has a crystal structure. So most of these minerals, they have a crystal structure. We have examples such as halite, calcite, and gypsum. They are formed through crystallization. The third way that minerals can form is from magma and lava. We know that magma and lava, they come from the Earth's interior. They are hot at the, at the bottom, and then when they go up to the surface, they cool due to the difference in the temperature. The cooling of the magma or the lava can cause minerals to form in the way of crystals and these crystals can have different sizes and depending on the rate of the cooling of the melted rock and where they are found we can have different types of uh, minerals from magma and lava we are also going to talk about how some minerals can be changed under under pressure or temperature so we can have the mineral of carbon that can be graphite which is used in pencils also it can be used as diamonds which is the hardest known met material on earth so that is it sixth grade for this week i hope that you will enjoy the, this lesson and we will have a lot of interactive activities and online quizzes to assess our knowledge. Thank you so much, sixth grade.